Hey, Go fans. So there's not going to be any actual Go playing in this video. Come back to my channel tomorrow for an actual Go video. Today, this is a public service announcement for the 2022 U.S. Go Congress. Anyway, it's happening, like in person, for the first time in three years, which is amazing. And I'm going, and I hope to see you all there. What is the U.S. Go Congress? I suspect half of you are asking right now. This is a place, it's, a, I guess, an event that is held in a different location every year that's over a week long that's just filled with Go playing and tournaments and camaraderie. And I've got a few pictures queued up from previous Go Congresses here. Here's one of the main playing rooms from the Minneapolis, Minnesota Go Congress from, was that three years ago? I think. I think that was the last one. Oh man, it's so hard to remember time. Uh, so that's cool. I don't know who this picture person is here taking a picture. Oh, I could probably read their name tag if we zoom in. Anyway, not important. Uh, here's a Go board. There's gonna be lots of Go playing at the Go Congress. Uh, here's me playing at some sort of tournament game. I don't quite remember. <laughs> Uh, you also, there's lots of lectures and pro events where uh, basically you can attend Go classes for, you know, up to three to six hours a day, depending on the day, given by professionals and very strong players, which is amazing. I suspect most people watching my videos have never actually been in a Go class or a Go lesson, and we've got a lot of them at the Go Congress. Uh, oh, this is uh, this is definitely Minneapolis, because this is, this is a picture of me winning the Teacher of the Year Award that year, and so that's actually me up on the podium wearing comical glasses. Uh, and then, you know, the thing about the Go Congress is, yes, there's lots and lots of Go, but there's lots of other things as well, and specifically, there's just a lot of camaraderie, there's a lot of new friendships to be made, a lot of just new people to meet who are, who are often into this, interested in the same things you are, uh, because you're all Go players, you already have one major thing in common. And so, what is it? It's a, it's a week-long Go vacation of just awesome like, it's, it's just a one-of-a-kind experience, and if you're really into Go, you're going to stumble it into and feel like you've wandered into the Garden of Eden. Now, this being the first Go Congress after the pandemic, there's a few caveats. Number one, uh, it's going to be one of the more expensive Go Congresses. It is in Estes Park, Colorado, which is not the easiest place to get to. It's actually way up in the mountains and completely beautiful, and it will feel like you're on vacation, but... Again, that's that kind of adds to the cost a little bit. You can you can do the Go Congress if you're like on a shoestring budget, and you don't get and you're paying for everything yourself. You can do it for I would say as little as a thousand dollars, which is pretty cost prohibitive this year. I fully acknowledge that. And there's many years where, um, especially, uh, you know, the the Congress directors have been able to keep the price and the costs down for everyone to get into a few hundred dollars. That was not the case this year. Um, it's also going to be one of the anticipated at least to be one of the lesser attended Go Congresses. Again, we're still coming out of a pandemic. And, you know, right now there's a little over 200 people signed up, which is great. But normally, in a normal year, we're, you know, if, if we have a good Go Congress, we're expecting 400 to even 500 certain years. And so currently where things are at with registrations, now, now again, this doesn't start till July 30th, so there's still some time. But, you know, this is going to be a smaller, more quaint, more personal Go Congress. And, I'm just happy it's happening, and I think I think it'll feel different, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Uh, if you go to the website, you can, of course, look at the who is coming list or see the pros who are currently coming. Um, they do have their COVID-19 information as well as, you know, safety and health FAQ. You do need to be vaccinated to attend. Um, this is also where you can find out about different accommodations and their costs. Uh, I don't really want to go through all that on a video. You guys can, you know, peruse the website just as easily as I can. However, I do want to point out that... Uh, when you do register, there's a 35% deposit required based on whatever sort of amenities you pick. And uh, I don't see it listed here, but I know that there is late fees <laughs> for registration. And so basically the early bird registration and uh, basically less than two weeks from now, maybe even a week by the time you're watching this video, uh, on April 30th. So if you were thinking about going and you want to save yourself a hundred bucks, get registered before the end of the month. If you register basically almost to the end of May, uh, you know, you have to pay an extra hundred dollars. And if you're registering during the summer, you know, just weeks to months before the Go Congress, they do tack on another $200. Is this extortion? Well, kind of, but it actually helps them plan. <laughs> and as a, as a, you know, person who has planned 
large events before, it's really helpful to know what the size of your audience is. You can, you know, schedule rooms and plan budgets and do all those things. So they really do benefit from you registering early if you are going. So what is the Go Congress? It's an awesome week of Go playing. If you want to take a Go vacation just this summer and get out and do something in person, man, this is just the most awesome thing you can do. And if you go there, I'll see you there. So if you want to just, you know, come see me, if no other reason, you know, sign up for the Go Congress and come out to Colorado. So again, July 30th through August 7th. Yes, I, I think it'll be just an awesome Go experience, but I do also acknowledge that we're still living in the land of COVID. Everything can change on a moment's notice with a new variant. And so there is some degree of risk of making all these plans and then having to undo them if uh, the situation changes. But uh, hey, you know, in the meantime, I want to I wanna live some life and play some Go. So I hope to see you there. Uh, thanks for watching.